What, what advice would you give somebody who is interested in experiencing healing through plant medicine but hasn't done it before? Uh, my, my advice would be uh, the same as what I did the first time I drank ayahuasca years ago. was really looking within myself at whatever resistances I was and fears I had in regards to engaging in this process uh, and have an honest look. And uh, we all have uh, we all have our own fears. And actually, ayahuasca for me, at its most powerful, is about uh, facing our deepest fears. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we start doing the homework, um, then it's going to be easier, uh, the experience. The other thing is definitely uh, get information. Uh, nowadays, there is plenty of information on the internet, in books, uh, people who've done it. And, uh, and learn from their experience, uh, in particular uh, about choosing the place and, and the people to do it with. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of talk oftentimes in this community about less than uh, uh, optimal situations, uh, people who lead the ceremonies, in less than optimal integrity, so to speak. The reality is that this is no different than any other line of work. There are good doctors, there are bad doctors, there are good bankers and bad bankers, and this is no different. However, there's plenty of information uh, and we can use that information, particularly when it's time to choose the person who's gonna take you through this process. For me, this is a very, uh, very delicate process because it's very powerful. Uh, it's very strong and fast. Therefore, it needs to be held in as uh, caring and optimal an environment as possible. Thank you. That's, that's very helpful. And I, I guess I would answer my own question by saying the advice I'd, I would give somebody is to uh, do a retreat with you. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, so this is, this is very important. This is very important. In this path as any spiritual practice, it's not about whether the person or the path is valid. It's about what we need in any particular stage of our journey. And sometimes uh, we need to experience, uh, even through this process, uh, betrayal or, uh, or humiliation or anything mm -hmm. that's the shadow side so the ideally ideally is uh when when this when this stuff comes up to be in an environment where that uh predicament can be healed